here. And we're coming to you from HTV, the official television station of Hannah Field. Hey! Oh, hey, number one. And we are back after an absence of almost two weeks to bring you the return of your favorite current events program, Cheer Chat. We just want to thank you for all your letters and emails of support. Yeah, it was like really hard when all those people were writing the principal and saying we shouldn't be allowed to do this show. Okay. Yeah, but thanks to you guys, we're back, back and ready to spread our message the best way we know how. Through cheer. Let's do one now. Ready? Okay. Two, Two, four, six, eight. Who, who should we exterminate? Iraqis, Afghanis, and Pakistanis, the Saudis, Kuwaitis, and the Iranis. Good worry, everyone. All of these countries are enemies of the United States because they all spawn terrorists. Oh my God! Do you know as Jenkins said, what? she's our English she's teacher. She said that yeah. Timothy McVeigh was a terrorist. How clueless can you get? Timothy McVeigh was a pawn. Exactly. The Arabs put a mind control chip in his butt cheek. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> how many? Yeah, how naive like, can you be? I know. Let's figure that. Let's do the profiling chair. Okay. okay. Ready? Two, four, six, eight. Who should we humiliate? Iraqis, Afghanis, and Pakistanis, the Saudis, Kuwaitis, and the Iranis. We <laughs> got number one, good warrior. Leave no Arab uninspected, or they'll get you undetected. We <laughs> got number one. Oh my God. You know, it's this is serious though. People do not realize how important it is to profile and detect every Arab. Yeah, it's not and just about whether Arab. or not you have a bomb. Mm -mm. It's there's like all kinds of evidences of their terrorism that we don't they don't know we know about. Yeah, like a lot of future suicide bombers have been stopped because yeah. they're wearing this certain kind of Casio watch. And we've identified that as a terrorist watch. But you know what? Like Mr. Randall said, that AP history idiot, he's <laughs> like, that watch is the most common brand in the whole Middle East. <laughs> Hello, that's the point. point. They're all terrorists. So, you know what? Huh? A lot of the school's faculty are starting to sound like enemy combatants. I totally agree. We should do the Homeland Security cheer. Hmm. Ready? Two, Two four, six, eight. Who, who should, should we investigate? The hippies, the commies, Mr. Randall, Miss Jenkins. Jenkins. My ex-boyfriend is a total traitor. He totally needs to go. And Susie? And Susie, she wore my shirt on Wednesday and pretended like she was the first one to wear it when really I was because I wore it on Monday and I was so much cooler than her. Actually, you know, that's, she is a total dweeb, but I don't know if she deserves Guantanamo. But um, okay. anyway, and we are totally out of time. It is so great to be back, yes. And please keep those letters and emails coming because without your support, who knows if anyone would value what two attractive skinny white girls have to say. I know. It's like being young and pretty isn't enough anymore. So true. But uh, join us next week when our show's topic is... What to do if an Arab sits next to you on the bus? Have you ever seen one? An Arab or a bus? Anyway. Ah! Oh my God! Number one, good warriors. Number one. Number one. Anyway.